Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how to perform instant segmentation using Mascar CNN with TensorFlow 2. So in my today's class, I'll cover how to prepare your own data set, your custom data set, because whenever we want to work on any algorithm, the first thing is data set and that the uh, annotations should be in the format which that particular algorithm accepts. So I'll show you how to prepare your data set, how to prepare the annotations and then I'll uh, show you how to train your model. And while training the model, I will also show you how to uh, perform augmentation on the data set which you have because sometimes we don't have sufficient data so we can use augmentation so I will show you how to add augmentation and then how to train your model and after that I'll show you how to test your model and then how to plot a confusion matrix on it and uh, I will also show you how to uh, plot precision recall curve on single image or you know on a batch of images. So all these kind of things I'm going to cover in my today's class and guys I have shared the link in the description section of my github so you can get all that code from there okay. So before moving to the practical implementation I would like to give you a brief idea about the mascar cnn like how mascar cnn actually work so what my mascar cnn does it takes an input image and then it uh, will give you a output image with the object mask object uh, bounding boxes and the class labels okay so uh, let's see step by step how we can how mascar cnn work okay so the first step is feature extractor okay so feature extractor will extract the feature from the input image and we are extracting the features from the image using resnet 101 architecture okay so once you extract the feature those features will become the input to the region proposal network so guys this mascar cnn is just an extension of faster r cnn only faster r cnn is an object detection model right and in that we uh, plot bounding boxes and the class labels so and in mascar cnn what we are doing we are plotting bounding boxes and class labels like object detection and additionally there is one more step added which is detecting the mask uh, creating the mask okay so uh, first so this rpn region proposal network basically what it does we get the feature output of feature extractor the output of feature extractor is features of the objects okay those features will become the input to region proposal network now region proposal network basically what it does is the region proposal network is a uh, it acts like a binary classifier it will tell you whether the object is present in the region or not okay and if the object is present present in that particular region it will classify will give you output as one and if the object is not present in a region that means your classifier this rpn will give you a output as zero okay so rpn basically uses a binary classifier to find out whether objects are present in the regions or not and the regions where the object is present those um, you know those reasons will become the input to roi pooling region of interest pooling now why we are using roi pooling because see the region proposals which we get from rpn they might be of different shapes right so we want them to be of same shape so that's why we are using region of interest pooling to make them all the regions to be of same uh, shape all right so what we have done till now feature extractor will extract the feature rpn region proposal network will extract the regions Re what are regions guys regions are just the areas okay where the object is present you will get a box like bounding box and there are lots of um, bounding boxes on the images and we will only pick those boxes those regions where object is present okay so uh, and we are doing with the help of binary classifier all, all right 
so now that uh, the output of rpn becomes the input to roi roi make them of the same same uh, shape okay so then we have a object detection branch so this is the second stage object detection okay now in first stage we just uh, you know uh, we got all those regions from the images where the object is present now the second stage is object detection where we will uh, you know provide the bounding boxes and the class labels to each objects all right this stage we take feature maps from the roi and then we predict bounding box and a class labels for each region proposals okay so this is similar like the classification and the regression task which we done in faster rcnn okay so now the third stage is mask prediction in this stage we again take the feature maps from the roi and then generate a binary mask for each region proposal so this is done by using a convolutional neural network and um, we generate a pixel wise um, you know uh, mask for each object and where uh, each object will be given a value of 1 if that pixel belongs to the object otherwise uh, it will get a value of 0 if that pixel doesn't belong to the object okay and guys this means that for each object um you know each object in the image mask or cnn produce a separate binary mask okay and that will indicate the exact location and shape of the object okay let's start the practical implementation of mask or cnn so for that the very first thing is to prepare the data set so guys for that so what you need to do is what we are using vgg annotation tool okay search for vgg annotation tool and then you have to go to this link when you'll click on this you will be redirected to the this page scroll down and then under this downloads just download this zip file okay now let's go to the downloads so you can see here so this is the zip file extract this and when you'll extract it you have to go to this link and open it you will see the screen okay so this is the place from where you will annotate your data set all right so the things which you have selected is under this region shape select the polygon tool and over here just write the name with which you want to save the file name okay so i am writing train okay so it will create a train dot json or csv file in which in whatever format i want to save the main file name will be this okay so from add files click here and go to the directory where your data set is so for my this class i have prepared this folder demo underscore data so i'm selecting this folder okay so select all files from here so i only have two images in in it so i'll show you the annotation on these two images and then i'll show you how to save a file okay so let's select both the files now you will see the name of those images over here okay now click on this attributes and under this region attributes over here write names and then click on this plus now from this drop down menu just select the drop down okay and here you have to write the name of the classes uh, as per your data set so you are building your custom data set you know like what are the name of your classes okay so write this so in my today's class i want to show you the example for two classes safety vest and hard hat okay so let's say my first class name is hard hat and then enter you'll go to a next line and then write the name of the second class hard hat and safety vest so these are the name of the two classes okay now let's start the this uh, labeling okay so click on the first image so this person is wearing a safety vest and hard hat so these are the two classes on i'm working so you need to annotate the data so what i'm doing is you just need to drag 
your mouse like this okay so here you can see after uh, making after uh, you know uh, drawing the whole polygon just leave it like this so this is the mask okay now let's create a mask for hard hat also so just click here and start doing like this now enter so this is the hard hat now you have to assign the classes also so for that just select the safety vest from here and go here and select the hard hat so i have labeled the first image now click on the second image so in this image we only have a hard head so just use the mouse you just need to press the mouse and wherever you want to change the you know position of the lines leave the mouse and start dragging again okay so this is the second image so now let's name it also hard head so this is how you'll uh, annotate all your images once you done that you have to go to this annotation and from this annotations you can save the annotation in these three different formats so what we want for this mask our cnn is this one export annotation at json click on it your annotation file will be downloaded in the downloads over here when you open it you can see all the annotation detail over here okay guys so this is how you prepare your data set so i have just uh, shown you the example now once you prepare your data set what is the next step so for that just write over here mask our cnn metaport okay and from here just go there and you need this mrcnn folder okay this folder is important okay rest of the things we don't need it just just take this mrcnn folder in this mrcnn folder this is our model this is the main configuration file this is the utility file uh, which have you know different functions and this is the visualize file these are the files which are required so you will download this mrcnn folder from here all right so now let me show you my folder where i am working so this is the folder in which i'm working and you can see this is the mrcnn folder which i have cloned from the github repo of metaport and then this logs folder you will not have it by default you will get this folder once you train your model okay once you start your training this model will get created and inside this model you will have all your training models so you can see right now the example which i'm sharing with you i have trained uh, it for 300 epochs and this is my 300 epoch all the trained models okay so then this data set folder you will create this data set folder and inside this data set folder you will have trains and val folder okay so inside your validation folder you will have all the validation images and the corresponding json file okay and how will you get this json file you will uh, annotate all these images using vgg annotator tool and then you save the annotation file and you have to place that annotation file over here with the images like this in the same way training for train also okay so i'm training for 400 images okay so the problem on which i'm working is safety vest and hard head okay these are the two classes on which i'm working so you can see here the images and this is the corresponding json file which have the annotation details of all these images all right so once you done that place mrcnn folder over here then place data set folder inside the data set folder have your train and val folder with the images and their corresponding json files okay now just see this custom dot py file this custom dot py file have the code which is responsible for training your model let's see what is there in this file let's open the custom dot py file okay so yeah here you can see so guys you need to provide the root directory path over here and this is the 
pre-trained mascar cnn model you have to download it from um, you know this matterport repo only you can download this uh, um, pre-trained uh, weight file okay and then logs remember i told you that once you start the training you will get a logs folder and inside that you will get all your trained models weights file so we are giving the path of that over here and this is our custom config file so guys here you can see the configuration so what we are doing is we are just uh calling the config file over here and we have created our own custom config file as per our data set right and as per our resources so you can see here gpu count one i'm using one gpu so that's what i have written over here and images per gpu see guys the image size would be 1024 into 1024 which is quite big size so uh if you my in my case my gpu rtx 3090 uh, with 24 GB RAM so it can support four images so that's what I'm writing over here if you have 12 GB space you can work with two images so as per your resources you have to choose this and inside this num underscore classes variable this one is for background and this plus two two means I have two classes safety vest in hard head okay so that's what I've written over here and steps per epoch is five so guys if you have less number of data you know less number of images in your data set then use smaller number like five but if your data set is quite big then you can use different values over here like 10 or 15 or after 20 um, you know like this then detection minimum confidence i have mentioned is this and learning rate is this you can change the learning rate you know you can fine tune your hyperparameters as per uh, the results what you are getting and as per your data set okay so this is my custom config file so what you have done you will use the same file you will use this custom.py file and what you have to do the changes is over here here and here as per your resources okay and then we have a custom dataset class. This custom dataset class is responsible to load your custom dataset. Okay. So what you need to do is you have to do the changes over here. Okay. So one hard head to safety vest. Okay. And then this train and well folder. We have two folders in our dataset folder, right? Train and well. So that's what I've written over here. And then we are loading the JSON file of training data over here okay and then again over here you have to mention the name of the classes which you have and just scroll down yeah so guys under this train function over here you can see these three lines are uh, for preparing the training data set and these three lines are for preparing the validation data set so just keep uh change the path as per your uh, you know uh, pc okay so this is what we have done and guys over here here you can see i am training the model with the augmentation because my data set is not very big so what i'm doing is i am using these different augmentation techniques on it so this is the first one, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth, tenth, eleventh. I have used eleven different augmentation um, ways over here while training my data set. Okay, and I want to train my data set for three hundred epochs. So guys, if you don't want to use this augmentation, then you can simply train your model with these three lines. You can see over here, model dot train provide the training data, provide the validation data, provide learning rate, epochs and layers is head. You want to train the heads only. Okay. And otherwise you can use the augmentation, these augmentations over here. All right. So that's it guys. After that here inside a config variable, we are calling the custom config class, which we have created and weight path is this. So what we are doing is we are loading the pre-trained weights which are trained on Coco data set and then we are fine tuning that model with our data set. Okay. So here you can see model load weight. We are loading the weights and then we are calling the train function. This train function which we have created here which will train our data set using this command. Okay. 
so this is how you can train your data set once the training done your will get a logs folder and inside the logs folder you will get all the weights uh, all the you know um, you will get weights after every epoch and you will use the last weight okay to test your model now i'll show you so guys now you remember now you know what is this what is this and this and the custom file and this is the pre-trained weight which i've downloaded from uh, this um, uh, github repo of metaport okay and then now let's test our model so i have a jupyter notebook this in this i have performed the testing let me show you that and guys i have prepared another folder with the name of test underscore images and in this folder i have placed few images on which i want to perform the testing so let's see that so let's go to here so guys the python version which i'm using is 3.8 tensorflow version is 2.4.0 and the gpu number of gpus i'm using is one and my gpu is rtx 3090 it has 24 gb of ram okay and guys if you want to work on gpu then you will use this and if you want to work on cpu you can use like this okay so now i'm importing all the required modules and then here here so remember this is the custom config class which we have created so so that's what i'm writing over here and this is the class which is required when you want to perform the inference when you want to you know perform the testing on unseen data so we have created a, another class with the name of inference config and we are uh, we have this custom config class remember this is in our custom.py file okay so we are calling it over here this time gpu count one and images per gpu is one because we are testing we want to test one image at a time so uh, this is what we have written and the detection minimum confidence score so guys while testing what happened is sometimes we face issues that um, you are not getting detections because uh, your model is not that well so you can change the detection minimum confidence score over here and uh, this detection nms threshold value you can you know lower down these values to see if your model is uh, working on the uh, lower values okay so this is my inference config class and i'm calling this inference config class in the inference config variable and then i am loading the masker cnn model this time i want to uh, perform the inference okay and for configuration we are giving a infer uh, this inference config and over here we are telling where our saved models are and then this is a model path here i have given the path of the model which we have trained okay a custom model train model which is in logs folder and then we are loading the weights you can see that we are loading the weights over here now after that this is the custom data set class so guys you there is no need to write these classes over here i have only written just to make you understand that uh, these are the these classes this custom config and this custom data set classes we already have these classes in a custom.py file okay so why i have written over here just to make you understand that how and where we are using those classes okay so this is my custom data set class this custom data set class we are loading our custom data set i just copied that um class from custom.py over here okay so you can see we are loading the validation data here we are loading the training data our training data is in which variable data set underscore train and our validation data is in which variable data set underscore well okay so you can see we have two classes all right just scroll down and over here with this code you will see uh, one of your validation image with the mask okay so that's what we are doing remember data set underscore val is a variable which stores the validation data so that's what we are doing we are loading the data set then we are displaying the instances and you can see a hard hit over here okay now let's test our algorithm on unseen data set remember i have a 
test underscore images folder and we have these many images under it. So let's test our model on it. So over here I have provided the path of the folder where my images are and then I executed this code and one by one you can see the results. So this is the first image. Okay, safety vest. This is a safety vest. This is a hard hat and a safety vest over here. See guys, results are not very good. Again, we can improve it by fine tuning the hyperparameters, by changing the learning rate, by adding more data, right? These kind of things you can do. This is a safety vest and then a hard hat, right? So I have trained, my training data is only 400 samples and then I performed the augmentation on it and I've trained it for 300 epochs for, and with that I'm getting these kind of results, okay? And this is a safety vest and hard hat, hard hat over here, right? So this is how it works. So now guys, let's plot our confusion matrix. Now for that, in the config variable, I am putting this configuration file and in a data set, I'm adding a data set validation. I want to uh, plot a confusion matrix on my validation data. Okay. So for this data set variable, I'm just passing the data set value and this and this, this will store the ground truth uh, boxes and this will store the predictions. And then over here, we are using a loop for all the validation images one by one and for every image, what we are doing is, you can see, we are detecting model.detect will detect and then we are getting the prediction list and we are using this util.compute AP and this is how, you know, using this loop, you will get your uh, average precision for all the images. You can see, for all the images, you can see processing, processing one image, this is the image actual is this predicted is this average precision is this okay so this is how you will see once you have the average precision and the actual mean average precision for this whole images is this this is the uh, on our validation data this is our average precision okay mean average precision then we are plotting the confusion matrix so for that in my utils i have this function we are calling that and this g uh, ground truth and predicted these are the two um, blank list right above we have mentioned right which stores the ground truth and the predicted results so and in columns i am providing the class names over here you have to change the class names as per your data set and then we are plotting it so this is the confusion matrix background class hard hat and safety vest okay so you can see over here all right so this is a confusion matrix and after that if you want to plot if you want to see the true positive false positive false negatives then you can uh, print it like this so these three over here why we have three different columns because we have background class the first one is background then the uh, this hard hat and the safety vest okay and over here i have deleted the background class and you can see we have the true positive false positive and false negative for hard hat and safety vest class okay so this is how you can see this and then if you want to plot a uh, average precision curve on a single image then you can use like this this we are using okay and then we are plotting visualize dot this we are plotting it you can see the precision recall curve over here on a single image now if you want to plot a precision recall curve on a batch of images then you can use this method so data set path where my data set is on which i want to perform this um, and in the model path the saved model remember our saved model is at this location and this is the name of my saved model and I want to run it on GPU and the configuration file, I'm providing this, the data set which I want to provide uh, on which I want to, you know, plot the average precision curve and that is this validation data. Okay. So here, this define, this compute batch underscore AP. This is the function which will calculate the average precisions. And then here you can see here, you can see that I am plotting. So you can see the number of images in validation data is 79. These are the classes 
and the this is a batch of the images on which we want to work and this is the a precision recall curve on that okay so guys this is how you work and uh, finally mask our cnn will give you a output image which will give you a mask and then you will get a, a, a bounding box and you will get a class level okay these are the three things which you'll get after uh processing after you know training your model mascar cnn model so i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching